Guys, update 647 is here, and it actually looks like a pretty good update. We have all the info for the new monsters, the blacksmiths, and the, the weapon masters. We also have some quality of life improvements. We also have several new events, which are going to give you a lot of scrolls, as well as a blacksmith scroll. So let's get it started uh, with the easiest one to talk about, the bonus mystical scroll event. You use 10 scrolls, you get one back. Super easy event to discuss. Let's go on to the Jolly Holiday. This is the easiest one, right? Jolly Holiday event. Uh, here we have... Oh, this is the one where you get a whole crap ton of mystical scrolls over here. Lots of mystical scrolls. Also, if you just glance over this, you're like, oh, the rewards, legendary devil bond, reap crystals, rainbow mon, summoning stone, ancient coin. Um, this is three legendary scrolls, which is actually a lot for an event. So we have 50 mysticals and we have three legendaries. So Comptuous is like trying to be like, yeah, guys, we're, we're trying to give you guys access to these new monsters, if possible. I mean, you still do have to actually get lucky enough to summon them, but they're giving you a decent amount of ammunition to uh, to do so. And they actually, the, the new monsters are pretty cool. So uh, anyway, this is the first one. Pretty decent rewards uh, for the new monster update special event. This is the one where you get the scroll. The uh, new monsters, weapon, master, rune, hammer, blacksmith update special event is here. Uh, rewards until December 8th. How to earn points. This is just summon. You just summon, 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 summon. <laughs> you guys are like, good, I'm going to spend a lot of money and summon. You use all my crystals. Like, no, 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 no. Don't go too crazy. You should have been saving. I told you guys to save for a while. So uh, summon a new monster. You get points. Summon not new monsters. You get points. Uh, here's the rewards from the event. We get mana. Eh, who cares? Uh, energy, mystical. Some of you are like, I need mana. Farm dungeons. Uh, extra mysticals here, mysticals, mysticals. Really, the thing here is the new monster, uh, Runehammer Blacksmith Scroll. And they do look pretty cool, though. They, they do look pretty cool. And then we have the upgrade missions here, which is just, honestly, mana stones I don't care about. Crystals and energy is nice. Uh, and the extra mystical scrolls is nice. But, you know, nothing nothing really too crazy. The, the biggest thing here is just the Blacksmith Scroll. So now we get to the 647 actual update notice. This is the exciting part, okay? Because we get to actually see the Weapon Master skills. And the Water One looks... Well, I actually... The, there's a word on the street that the Water One is actually for... T, it's intended for TOA Hell. Because it's got two AoEs. Like, I was trying to figure out where it was supposed to be used at the beginning. And it's like, no, it's supposed to be used for TOA Hell. It's got two AoEs that are based on ME Max HP. And it, while it doesn't do any hard control like stuns or freezes or whatever, it does do the AoE glancing. It does do the AoE slow. So that's where it's actually... Because there's a lot of things in TOA Hell that it's like, oh, you can't CC the enemies, which makes it harder, which is therefore TOA Hell. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the thing of like where this was intent... This is like the intent for this. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the other ones though. 647, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Weapon Master, Rune Hammer, Blacksmith. Let's go. We got the Glaive Slash. It's the same as the other ones. Uh, sometimes it's not the same. Sometimes it's slightly different. Like for example, the uh, On Muji's are a little bit different with their skill ones, but that was after a patch, but like sometimes they're different with their skill ones, but these ones are the same with their skill ones. Uh, we got the weakness shot, attacks the enemy to leave a branding effect for two turns and it attacks three more times, damage increases, the HP condition is bad. This could be really good for bosses. This could also be good for like, just kill, it's, it reminds me of like Inu, right? So this is kind of like a Inu type skill. We have collect weapons passive, this one is a little crazy. Your attack bar increases by 75% when an enemy dies, and your attack power increases up to 300% equal to the dead target's base attack power. That seems potentially pretty interesting. I'm very excited to... I'm not going to get it anyway, but I'm excited to... I should get blessings. I have some scrolls saved up. We're not going to get anything, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do my best to actually get these new units, as I always do. But uh, yeah, let's see. Why do I always say, let's see, every video? Let's see, let's see, 9,000 times. Okay, uh, then we have this one, the water one, which I already mentioned before, but yeah, he's got the two AoEs that are based on enemies' max HP over here. This is the enemy's uh, decrease enemy speed. This is the one that dec uh, that's uh, a glancing hit and also block beneficial effects. And like before, we were like, where are we supposed to be using this? Like, this doesn't make sense. Usually, you think about Nat 5s for PvP. This one looks like a more PvE one, but this is, uh, you know, again... People have been mentioning, like, no, this is supposed to be for TOA Hell, so. Uh, then we have the Wind uh, wind Attacker. Wind Attacker? Wait, actually, all of these are attack, right? Attack, 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 yeah. 
Oh, these are attackers. Okay. So we got the Disturb HP Recovery. We have this one, the Weakness Shot. Again, it's the same as the Fire one. It is the Branding. Damage uh, increases as the enemy's HP condition is bad. And then the Improvisation Passive. Your attack power increases as your HP decreases. And attacks additionally when attacking an enemy on your turn. This kind of reminds me of Trevor. This is like an upgraded Trevor. Attack deals damage portion to your max HP if your HP exceeds 50%. And recovers HP equal to the damage dealt if it's 50% or below. So this reminds me of like a... Uh, an upgraded nat 5 version of trevor if you like trevor you probably like this one more if you don't like trevor you might still like this one i don't know but uh but yeah then we have the light one which no one's no one's gonna get uh we got the disturb hp recovery we got the weakness shot which is the branding same like si similar to iunu right uh and then we have the final strike passive that's the one that makes him different attacks additionally when you attack an enemy on your turn attack absorbs 30 percent of the target's attack bar if the enemy's hp exceeds 30 percent and deals damage that ignores the uh, target's defense if it's 30 percent or below so it's basically like a finishing it's like a finishing blow it's like a final strike it's like if the enemy's gonna get ready to die it makes sure that it's like this could be a cool like some of these could be really cool for like destroying bosses really fast so if you manage to get one of these, uh, this some of these could be really, really good for uh, like finishing bosses off. So, uh, and then we have the dark one. It's the still the AOE block beneficial effects and glancing hit. And then we got the same the same uh, skill one. And shadowless movement is the different one for this one. Attacks all enemies four times. Oh, this one is the crazy one. Uh, each attack will decrease the defense for two turns, decrease attack power for two turns, continuous damage for two turns, and absorb 25% of the attack bar respectively. That's so many debuffs. So many. And absorb the attack power. I mean, uh, 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 not, not attack power. Absorb the attack bar, respectively. So, defense break, attack power break, continuous damage. <laughs> then also absorb attack bar. Then he gets another turn, and he blocks beneficial effects, and he uh, does damage based on enemy max HP and glancing hits. So that's like every debuff. That's like, excuse me, that's like every debuff that this guy does. It's absolutely crazy. Um, this one seems nuts. It's <laughs> every debuff. Uh, people are going to have some fun with this. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the Runehammer Blacksmiths. We got the powerful... Sw uh, sorry, powerful swing? Power swing. Attacks and stuns the enemy for one turn, 30% chance. We got the beneficial hammering. We already discussed this one. Uh, it's already looking like it's going to be a nice combination with Lucian, Kaki, things like that. Uh, increased attack power and defense, just like a Megan, but does not do the uh, does not do the attack age increase. Also, this is apparently a typo. Uh, well, not not a typo. It's a, apparently a mistranslation. It's like we were wondering what grade is. And apparently some people have noticed and mentioned that it's a mistranslation from the Korean version to this. And there's not like a new debuff, uh, apparently. So I'm just going to go by what they say for that. Uh, and then we have the increase, uh, increase the increasing effects of attack power, defense, and attack speed that allies receive by 25%. The same skill effects do not stack with each other. So this is just, again, it's kind of like the Dark String Master. It's just going to make Lucian even stronger. It's going to make Kaki even stronger. It doesn't do the attack age increase. So you may, I mean, I think this is going to be a great combination with Frigate. If you wind up getting, uh, if you wind up getting Frigate or have Frigate or whatever, and you use her, I think that's going to be really nice together. Uh, and then we got the water one, power swing, attacks and stuns the enemy for one. But, but these are the four stars, though, guys. These are the four stars. Uh, they're all support, if I... Yes, all support. So the Nat 5s are attackers, and they make sense. They're attack-type units um, that do damage, right? Uh, and then these ones are all supports, so... But they actually... Like, sometimes the monsters don't make sense. That's why I mentioned that. Uh, we got the harmful hammering. Balls, harmful hammering. Attacks all enemies decrease their attack power and defense for two turns with 50% chance. Guaranteed to de decrease their attack power and defense if great is activated with a 30% chance. And then we have the equipment polishing passive. Inc so this one is interesting, actually. Increase accuracy of all allies by 10% whenever an enemy resists a harmful effect. Increases resistance by 10% whenever an ally gets a harmful effect. Interesting, but this is gonna it seems like it's not it's not like a thing that resets after a while It's a thing that like eventually your team will all have 100% resistance if you use this so Kind of cool. I wonder if this is gonna be I feel like this is gonna be used I feel like it's not gonna be super OP ridiculous, but I feel like people are gonna actually use this one next up We have the wind one. We got the power swing same first skill as the other one We got the beneficial hammering increase the attack power and defense of all allies for two turns It's the same as the fire one then we have the thing that makes her different is this customization passive allies with attack power increasing effect So she already does attack power increasing effect for two turns So 
Any allies that have that will decrease the enemy's defense for one turn with a 50% chance when they attack. So think about Kaki. Like, for example, if you're using this with Kaki, Kaki's going to have the attack power buff. He's also going to have, when he attacks, he's going to have an AoE. It's going to be an AoE defense break, but it's only 50% chance. It's not going to be reliable like you'd want it to be, but it's just extra, extra damage. Or you could use this, for example, with something else. Like, for example, if you use this with a... Uh, water phantom thief and he doesn't defense break everything or use it with a savannah and it doesn't defense break everything well it still has that extra like if savannah doesn't defense break like two units you could still defense break those two units when you get the customization passive with cocky when he attacks so it's kind of like a little fail safe it's kind of like an insurance policy uh, a little bit i wouldn't necessarily rely on this but it's it's going to be nice uh, and then allies with defense increasing effect so defense increasing effect this could be nice for like if you're going to bruiser it out um this is going to be this is going to be potentially good like for example let's say if you're using this with a feng yan right um feng yan's got the defense buff because of course she does this defense buff and the shield and then when for example if you're using it against against a cocky or against a savannah or against something like why do i in cocky savannah mode today i don't even know but if you're using it against that and like for example guild wars um those units are going to be attack power broken not 100 percent chance there's going to be just a 50 percent chance when they're attacked so feng yen has a better chance to survive uh the wind uh slammy <laughs> slammy slammy girl wind blacksmith has a better chance to survive whatever's getting attacked has a better chance to survive because it's decreasing the enemy's attack power but it's only a 50 percent chance uh and then we have the so it's not like it's nice that these are actually their combinations with themselves so you don't have to like, oh, I got to bring this in the team and this in the team and this in the team. It's like, no, it's a combination. They're passives. Com com there's passives are a nice combination with the skills that they actually have in their kits by themselves, uh, which is always nice. Um, then we have the light one, same first skill, beneficial hammering. It's the same attack, power and defense buff and the shield. And then we have the overhaul, which is the thing that makes her different. Reduce all allies skill cooldowns by one turn. Think about like a Mav. Uh, it increases the duration of granted beneficial effects by one turn each. So this is kind of similar to a, uh, like, Miyang, right? It's Miyang cleanses too. Not full cleanse, but she she will increase the duration of the ben uh, beneficial effects. Uh, additionally, increases the duration of beneficial effects granted on allies by one turn each if great is activated with a 30% chance. We're going to see what actually all this great stuff means uh, when it's when it's actually in the game. Like, in the game game, which is going to be... Maybe by the time you're actually watching this, it might already be in there. But yeah, this could be potentially very cool. So, we shall see. The, all these look pretty good, actually. Uh, and then we have the Dark One. Attacks and stuns the enemy for one turn. Same thing. We have the Harmful Hammering. Attack all enemies. Decrease attack power and defense for two turns. 50% chance each. Guaranteed to decrease their attack power and defense if grade is activated with a 30% chance. Uh, and then we have the Blacksmith Discernment Passive. Increases the decreasing effects of attack. So this one is actually going to be a, potentially a very cool combination. Um, maybe not combination, but it's going to be potentially cool for like maybe dungeon speedruns, right? Increases the decreasing effects of attack power, defense, and attack speed that enemies receive by 25%. This is something we haven't seen in the game yet. Uh, same if skill effects do not stack with each other. So, for example, if you imagine, if you play, like, some other mobile gacha games, they have, like, two different forms of, like, defense break. They're like, oh, this one is a defense break number one, and then this one is a better defense break. So, this is going to be kind of like that better defense break. It's going to be not quite ignore defense, but it's going to be a stronger version of a defense break, just like we have the stronger version of the attack power buff over here. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a defense break too, or an attack power buff too, as you've seen in some other, as m some of you have seen in some other gacha games. But it's it's very similar to how how those work. It's just uh, as passive instead of as a different kind of buff or debuff. And then we have the SP summons, which are coming back. And then we also have battle training ground. So we have new uh, battle training ground over there. And then we have Inter-Server Battle, which we've talked about already. This is going to be very interesting, especially for the channels that do RTA replays. You know those channels that just, like, do, like, there's, like, all RTA, and you're like, wow, well, oh, my God, they do RTA all day, every day. It's like, no, it's not their matches. It's not their matches. They're just RTA. They're just showing RTA replay channels. So this, if you want to know how a monster does in RTA, I mean, you could always just go here <laughs> anyway. I don't know. You, you could just go here. But uh, yeah, you can just search for like whoever is using a SEMA. You can search for whoever's using a SEMA. You can search for whoever's using a any unit that you want to see how it performs in RTA. 
you can now see how the unit performs in RTA. So, there you go. Then we have this uh, quality thing. <laughs> I think we're glancing over that much more. This really impacts like the YouTube space, I think, more than anything. Uh, but I think it's also going to be nice for people that have rare monsters that they're like, I don't know who's even using this. I don't know. And now you can actually see a little bit more of who's actually using it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Quality of life improvements, so we can see a little bit more quality of life. Uh, the, str the strategy info, I don't think there's really too much to talk about there. Uh, this is this little... You guys can't even see that. This little uh, button, uh, not button, this little si signal, this little sign. Oh my god, why can't I talk? Guys, it's after midnight. I can never talk. Uh, this little thing, that's all that is. It's not that exciting. It, this is just quality of life improvements, so you can see in the... You, whatever just quality of life improvements we don't really need to talk too much about that uh again quality of life improvements this is just it automatically selects rainbow mons for you not anything too crazy special rule setting function move from siege battle test so if you're really into siege that would be something that's interesting to you otherwise not really too exciting uh buildings can be proof oh i actually didn't see this one buildings can be purchased will be displayed first okay Okay, I didn't even... I totally glanced over that one. This one is the exciting one. I'm very excited about this. Because I mentioned this a while ago in a video. I was like, why Why does Calm to Us not do as like a reward for people doing RTA or people doing whatever? Actually, they did They did implement this in Siege. Where you can actually... Where you, you have a skin for your, uh, for your Siege battles. But this is something I thought would be great for them to do for Arena. So... Actually, when was that that I had that? Uh, I'm glad they implemented that for Siege. But now we finally get it for Arena. We get this like little winter snowy wonderland. Um, and this is not something that you have to like be a certain rank of Arena or RTA or whatever to actually get. This is just something. Apply season theme. And there you go. I think this is fantastic. I think this is a nice uh, fresh coat of paint. Because Arena, it's been the same for seven years. We've had the same Arena. I'm like, how easy would it be? To just, I mean, it does take a little bit of, of work, you know, the artists do have to work. But I'm like, it's not that hard. As long as the geometry is in the same spot, it's not really that hard. You don't have to reprogram things. You just have a new skin on the arena. So I think this is really great that they did that. Uh, also, this is something a little bit interesting. I don't know. Um, these four-star monsters summon boost upgrade packs. So if you summon a four-star monster, it'll pop up that pack that most of us don't buy. I would love to say nobody buys, but someone probably buys it. Um, but yeah, the one the one that I never buy, uh, and many people never buy, they changed it. They improved it a little bit. Uh, you don't get any uh, Tribute King Angel Mons, but you do get some more Essence of Magics. Uh, so that's nice, I suppose. I'm still not going to be buying them, but whatever. But this one, uh, this is a default 5-star Monster Summon Boost Upgrade Pack. So you do have this pack that, up, that uh, pops up. When you summon a Nat 5, where you can, for a thousand crystals, you can get a 5-star Rainbow Mon, you can get a Devil Mon, you can get 5 Attribute King Angel Mons. I still don't feel, I mean, it's a thousand crystals. The Devil Mon is great, but it's a thousand crystals. It's a thousand crystals. So anyway, uh, I think that the biggest thing is these new monsters are very cool. New monsters are very cool. Uh, I do like what they did with this uh, World Arena thing over here, where you can search for the monsters. Uh, and then also... That skin, that skin is cool. And then the events, we're gonna get a, a lot of access to a lot of, uh, a lot of scrolls. But these should be pretty fun. These, these, since people are actually gonna get these ones, this should be pretty interesting to see like what they do. I mean, we already know kind of what they do, but they will actually change some things, change the way people will actually use them. Because some, some of them people don't even wind up using, but these feel like units that are actually gonna get used. But anyway, that's it for this one. I know I already talked too much, but, uh, you watched the whole thing, didn't you? Congratulations. I should congratulate people for making it to, ma making it to the end. It's an achievement. It really is. And it's like an endurance. Oh. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.